looks like a junkyard. Are you sure we can build something badass up in here? Of course, Prof. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. Let's see if we can get you in through the window. Let me see if I can get that cover down. Those guys are rude. Looks like scavs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. Reckon you should freeze and smash. Piss off! Process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers pack quite a punch. to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared.
thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. Here it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Also. Flip that latch and the cage should open. this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Wow, oh, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistrike highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. Inside that thing? I've been wondering about this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, let me think about it. That's good, that's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. The turrets just need to be calibrated. I can help prepare the targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a fast way to do that. Just soften them up a little. Then let the turrets work their magic.
job done. I'll get this to the main area. Return there too. still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled. Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you. Plug me in. This body feels strange. Arms, legs. Is this what it's like to be human? This is the worst. All right, let's see what you can do.
Bob, you turned all those scabs into puddles. I did, didn't I? Everything's lost like tears in a puddle. They just attack me on sight. Don't humans ever try talking to each other? is on its way to the testing chamber. Head on over there so we can install our AI. Okie dokie, tickety tuck, let's do this. Hunter, do it. Installing. Stuff. Anything that can help us in a fight. Trash the rest. 
Felicity, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can hear myself die if I can. Fear. Stop it. Stuff needs a kick in the pants too. Me get that down. Think up awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. Alright, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's, we'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. Here's where it gets fun. I stashed some loot away for a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves. Some 
how do you find loot? Alright, here we go everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go! We'll fast travel up there first. You follow behind. If we don't shut that laser down soon, we can kiss this whole moon goodbye. See you on the other side, kiddo. What she said. Let's be heroes. Decisions, decisions. Where is everybody? Crap, I think we're on the other side of Helios. Crap, looks like the fast travel split us all up. Doesn't change the plan, though. Get to the eye of Helios command center, shut the laser down without damaging it, save the moon, and be hailed as a hero forever. Sound good? Of course it does. Helios is back in Hyperion hands. What have you done to the station? The color scheme is all... Yeah, red and black were a little grim. Yellow pops better, don't you think? Anyway, you can't fire me, sucker. You already did. Later. Well, the station seems more... in one piece. How about you? You holding up? Kind of felt bad for that AI we erased. Or I'm just jealous you're going to do a little bit of fun. Alright, cool. I'll meet up with you later. We'll talk some more then. from there. God, I hate this chick. They freeze Helios. Intensify firepower. Oh, hell. She's focusing the laser. Authorization. 
There should be one nearby. And, uh, sorry, in advance. Jack's office is locked and I need him. Okay, I shall lead the way.
User authorized. Have a nice day. I'm dying. I'm dying. Poor robot. Oh, you made it to the office? Great. Uh, do me a favor and turn on that fast travel in there, would you? that claptrap you found and plug him into the security terminal. He can lower the defenses leading to the eye of Helios laser. That dumbass died! Are you kidding me? I swear to God, if I ever become CEO, I'm gonna destroy every last one of those friggin' things. Damn right. Now we can't lower the Helios defenses. Uh... Jack! My team's been down in R&D! We're bloody surrounded! Sorry, Gladstone, but I... Yeah. Vault Hunters, get to R&D and rescue Gladstone's team. They can hack those defenses for us and open up the way to the eye. Got him, smart. Mr. Lawrence? Oh uh, yeah, that's me, Timothy. Please go through the door to your right. Your interviewer will be waiting for you. Do I, uh, need to sign some papers? Or... Through the door, please. No, wait, how do I know this isn't some scam to get my kidneys? You applied for this position because you needed money. Beggars can't be choosers. But, I... Okay. All right, I'm ready. Very good, Timothy. 